All right, guys, we are here on Pixelorgan to prep our reference image for the project that we're going to be starting and doing this week. All right. Um, the first thing that you need to do is download the file that is attached to the assignment. All right. I believe it's called Portrait Grid Template. All right, and that's going to be a PXD. There's not going to be any picture showing or anything like that until you open it, open it here in Pixlr. All right, we are going to actually use Pixlr E this time because there's a setting we need to change that's going to make our life a lot easier. So I'm going to start with Pixlr E. It's going to have everything that Pixlr X had in it right here, but we are going to open the image that we downloaded. All right, mine's in my downloads folder. Portrait Grid Template, I'm going to take that two off, so it'll just say Portrait Grid Template. Click on Open, and it's going to load you right in here. you got your layers over here at the side. There's quite a few other tools, but we're not going to be using too many of them. The first thing I want you to do is we need to do the setting. We have the Arrange tool right here, the arrow. That's what it defaults to. And over here at the top right, there's these tool settings. If we click on that, all we need to do is we need to turn this setting right here, auto select layer off. All right, that's gonna help us out a lot. It's gonna keep us from moving things we don't want to move. After that, we need to get our picture into here. And after that, if you feel more comfortable with Pixlr X, you can go switch back there and that setting will stay put. All right, we're gonna do the same thing we've done before. We're gonna click the plus. To add a layer, we're gonna choose image because we're gonna add an image. And then we're going to find the pictures that we downloaded. Mine are in a folder on my desktop. All right. We are going to pick one of these characters to do. We have a bunch of different choices. Um, and we are going to choose one of them. All right. I'm going to start with this one right here. All right. Get out of here, ads. Now we want this picture, the portrait, to fill up this grid. And we also want the grid to be on top. So what we need to do first is drag this layer down so it's below the grid. And you can see that here. All right, now it's behind this stuff. Now I need to make it bigger. We want the face, the portrait, to fill up the whole page. Okay, something like this. So his face is almost filling up the entire thing. I could even go a little bigger if I wanted to something like that but I want to see a little bit more of his shoulders here so I think that looks a little bit nicer all right now we're all set we could begin with our project this layer right here if I check that it gives us a little circle this is kind of our viewfinder if I want to move it I gotta select it now and I can move it around I can use my mouse wheel to zoom in or this plus up here to zoom in. And this allows us to see the square that we are working on right then. All right. So here you can see the paper I've prepped. We did this last week. We put the grid on it. I just added letters along the top and numbers down the bottom. This top left square is going to be nothing. Make sure you don't put any numbers or letters there. Uh, but we've got A through G along the top, just like we do on our digital uh, reference image here. We've got 1 through 10 going down the side, just like we do right here, 1 through 10. All right. And now we're going to do our best to transfer what we have in our reference image down onto our paper. The whole purpose of using a grid is to simplify your drawing to make it easier to draw. All right, if we start right here with the nose, this is in box D5. If I go over to D and down to five, I'm gonna put a little mark there and I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see. All right, we're zoomed in here. I'm gonna zoom in over here. I moved my little viewfinder over here and you can see that there are more little red lines in there and that helps me divide it up even more. If I wanted to, I could sketch those in here but really that's only for if you have a really detailed area and you need a few more reference images, all right? 
Um, but it might help if we put them in there. I'm just going to eyeball about halfway and halfway, do it really lightly with my pencil. You probably can't even see that on the video. And now I'm just going to look and compare. That's the biggest thing that we need to do. If I'm looking here, this leftmost nostril is just barely touching the edge of my square in this one. So when I draw this, that's where I want to draw it. You can also see that it is right below the halfway mark. All right, and it doesn't make it all the way over here. So I'm gonna use my reference right here to do that. Starting with just the basic shape and drawing only the lines that you see. All right, if you can disconnect in your head what you are looking at and just think about what lines you are drawing, what lines you can find, what lines you can see and try and put those down on the paper you'd be surprised at how much that helps all right now i'm looking at this part right here where this nostril starts it's a little bit higher than that one it comes past the middle point and curves back down and around all right so i'm going to do that here start right about there and i'm going slow i'm looking up and down at my references back down at the image that i'm drawing here um, that is the biggest advice I can give you is to look at least as much as you are drawing. Compare what you have to what's on the screen. All right. There we go. All right. And that's one. Now I can move my little viewfinder over. If I go over to this side, there's nothing really there for me to draw at all. Maybe this little line where his cheek is. I could put that in. That's going to go right about here, nice and light. Okay. I can make my way. I could go down to the lips. I could go over here. I could go up here. I can bounce around and do the eye if I wanted to instead. Just make sure you're in the right one. That's C4. And line up the viewfinder. It helps you ignore the other stuff. C4 is right here. We're doing the same thing. The eye starts about lower than halfway, curves up past halfway, and then curves back down past the halfway mark. I'm talking about these lines here. This is halfway. The eye starts below halfway, goes above, comes back down below, and it curves down here as well. All right? When you are drawing, we are not doing any shading. We are going to use this line drawing. We're only drawing the lines, the edges of things that we can see uh, for a painting when we return to school. So I want you taking your time and not doing any shading. If there's an area that's dark or that's a different color, draw the outline of it. Okay? The same thing with the eyebrow that we have here. I'm going to outline it with a basic shape. All right. I'm going to go up and around and curve around like this. That's my plan. We're going to end up painting this later. Okay. Something like that. And there might be some in the one next to it. I can check. Yeah, the eyebrow goes a little bit further over. So I'm going to make that shape end right here. All right, if I scooch over the next one, it doesn't go very far into the next one. Something like that. And I'm drawing very lightly. That's what I want you to do. I might push it a little harder just so you can see. But this is how I want you doing this. This is going to take us a little while. In fact, it may take us the whole week. It may take us more than the whole week. But we're going to do one box at a time. Some of these might be easy. This box right here. There's no lines here for us to draw except a little bit from this eye right here. Let me scooch over so you can see. There's a little bit of this eye right there that we can draw in. These lines, these are not lines. This is shading here that we're going to add in later. Okay? So we are only drawing lines. We are only outlining. We are not doing any shading. All right? Take your time, do one box at the time, and do not worry about the background at all. We're just doing the portrait. We don't have to do any of the lines in the backgrounds of your picture. When you're doing the hair, 
All right, if I go up here to E2, let's get that in the middle so you can see it. E2 right here, E2 right here. All I want you to do is outline the outer edge of the hair. Don't go trying to draw all these little bits and bobs that are in there, just the outer edge. So I'm just worried about this line right there, E2. A little above half curves down over and down again that's it that's all I want okay when we paint these I'll darken that a little so you can see when we paint these that's when we're gonna add all the details in all right if I move down to the one below it you can see it just a little bit right there if I move over to here you can see that it comes down pretty quickly like that and we're just doing the shape the hair is making okay